Guys, feast your eyes on this classic American muscle car, the last of the 90s true American muscle cars and the only SS to ever be a four-door the Impala SS. This bike, or excuse me, this car actually graced the show scene in 1992 and the pre-production prototype had a 454 in it. So when it came out in 94, the production version, they decided it would be a better idea to put the Corvette engine in it, the small block would handle better, be a, bit, a little bit lighter. So they put the small block LT1 5.7 liter engine right out of the Corvette into this thing with a four speed automatic transmission. Came with a jet black exterior and the gray leather bucket seats. This one is, you know, your classic Chevy SS appeal. Uh, the, the, the SS brand name has always meant high performance. It's a very r rare three-year Impala model. 96 is the last year of production. It only has 126,000 miles on it. We bought it from a, a southern collector who had a massive collection of motorcycles, uh, 19 bikes plus a ton of parts. We, we bought everything, including his car. Um, he was uh, retiring and, and moving to a retirement community and couldn't take all his, his uh, prized possessions with him. So. He let this one go and he kept it in pristine shape just like his collector of motorcycles. This was not a daily driver ever to my knowledge, well, at least in his possession and he owned it for decades. So this car was built to police spec with GM's 9C1 package, performance enhanced, quicker steering, stiffer lower suspension, quicker shifting transmission, a better dual exhaust, bigger, better brakes, and of course that badass Corvette LT1 engine pumping out some serious torque and horsepower. The gloss jet black exterior with the gray leather bucket seats really pops. They made this in a burgundy color, which pales in comparison to the black, in my opinion. And guys, before I got out of the car, I wanted to start off by saying this is one of the few vehicles that I'm selling that I don't want to sell. I took Christy out in this car. We had this car since last summer, and we used this as our date night car. Um, we kept it parked in the first floor of the museum. It's been indoors in the museum next door here on display. So really, really am not looking forward to seeing this car go. Uh, I do not want to sell it, but we have the new gas gas dealership and we just got a quote for the, the lighting package alone for the dealership was $67,000. So um, we got to come up with some serious cash, six figures. So we, we looked around at our prized possessions. This is one of them and I'm going to let it go. Um, looking at this engine, this is all original, unfettered with, has original exhaust. Original intake, original everything um, under the hood here, and it looks brand new, and it's absolutely stunning. Uh, it's got a new diehard battery in there, top of the line diehard battery. Um, the radiator, we just bought it to Amy at a and Auto, family friend and uh, long-term, long-time friend and, and uh, also service provider. She works on, our, on some of our vehicles, and there was a small leak in the radiator, so she replaced the radiator. And I, I've got a work order somewhere. I did a couple other small things, but it's got a brand new OEM right here. It looks original. You couldn't tell it's not the original, but it is brand new. And she changed all the fluids and uh, gave it a clean bill of health. So in any event, like I said, Christy and I would take this out. She likes she likes going to uh, wineries, winery tours. So we'll pick one like an hour away and just go for a nice ride. The car is super comfortable. It's badass. She loves this car, you know, and, and uh, it's badass. It's fast. It's comfortable, it's exclusive. They didn't make many of these. And it just, it just is a lot of fun to drive. Um, we've had the car up to 100 miles an hour. 
and it was had a lot more to go. It didn't even feel like we were. I mean, she, she's like, "How fast are you going?" I said, "100 miles an hour." And it uh, these Kumho radial tires, Kumo, however you pronounce it, um, the, hand, the extra tires, they, they stick like glue. It handles really good. These are the original factory mags, and they're in excellent condition. Uh, the brakes have all been redone. Um, it's got slotted disc brakes with new caliper has had new calipers and new rotors on the front. New can you go and show them the brakes, Kenny? Uh, new calipers and rotors on the front. The original factory mags. So she loves the car. I enjoy driving it. I'm a big dude. I'm six foot two. I don't like the little cars that Junior and, and, and Kyle and the boys like the little four cylinder. You know, a little. Um, they sound like they exhaust sound like a fart knocker. And, you know, they sound terrible. I don't like the Jap those small Japanese cars. And uh, you know, the little BMWs. To me, like my my dad used to call those cars pregnant roller skates. This is a proper American muscle car. It's a proper man or, or woman's car, an adult's car, and it's classy. It doesn't doesn't scream Ricky Racer. It, it's and these have gone up in value incredibly. Uh, one just sold at a uh, uh, private auction with, uh, had under 100 miles on it. It sold for $99,000. Uh, multiple, and that was that was a high watermark. It's the most I've ever heard of one selling for. Uh, if you go on to the Mecham auto auction, multiple uh, versions of these are sold in the, in the, in the over $50,000 range to $60,000 range with the median price being uh, 30 to 40 for a real pristine example. Uh, and there have been some some uh, others that bought substantially more. Why Why are these cars worth so much? Well, it's the last of the American muscle cars. It's the only four-door SS ever made. Um, they're highly collectible. They're uh, extremely durable. And this one's been stored indoors since new, never sat out in the rain. It's all original paint, original rims. This car is 100% original. Um, they're only original once, and it's been well maintained uh, since since new. So, it's a stunning piece. Because these cars are so valuable, um, there are a lot of imposters out there, and there's ways to tell if you have a, a, a true Impala SS with the 4L60E transmission and the LT1 engine and the 3.08 final gear rate, gear ratio. One is the badges. If you look at the badges on the car, you'll see the uh, the grill is painted on this car. The Impala script on the side here. Come take a look at this Impala logo. The, these are these are genuine Impala original SS logos here. The quarter windows are different on the Impala SS. These five spoke mag rims, those are the original genuine Impala SS. The side front moldings and the window moldings, these moldings here are all painted black. The door handles are black. The keyholes are black, only the Impala SS has that. Uh, it has also the painted grill and the power antenna. Right here, you can see that's in now. Pops and, up when you turn the key. Yep, and it has fully, all the features you'd ever want in a, in a luxury car. Leather interior, I mean this is a super comfy. Power windows, power brakes, power doors, power mirrors, power seats, AM, FM, quadraphonic stereo. This has the console shifter, only an Impala SS has the console shifter. The plush leather interior, um, nice thick carpets. And uh, moving to the rear of the car, we'll show you the rear seats here. These are in mint condition, doesn't look like anybody sat in it. Uh, John didn't have kids, so um, he was an adult in, in his upper years, so he, did, he used it the same reason I used it, to take his wife out. Uh, for on, on date nights, it was not a not. This was a luxury car for a nice weekends. Also, see see the trim right here. Only Impala SSs have the blacked out trim, and this is the last American car to be made with a behind the license plate gas fill. How cool is that? And check out the dual exhaust. You can see it poking out underneath there. That's the original factory dual exhaust. The painted taillight trim. It came from the factory with 255 70R17 wheels, and the springs on this are an inch and a half lower than the regular Caprice. Much better brakes. As I mentioned, painted black keyholes. Last car with a gas can on the back there, a gas fill on the back. Um, dark black trunk paint 
on the inside and power everything with gray leather. So there is a couple of other things you should check to be sure, do you really have an Impala SS? So I just go in the glove box here and I think I'll point out that I do have the original Impala SS Genuine Chevrolet owner's manual in here along with the lock for the, uh, for the mag wheels. The console's mint, the interior's mint, tilt steering wheel. That's a man's horn right there. No, it's me, me, little Japanese toy horns. So check it out. The trunk on the Pala SS is massive. You could put like, well, three or four bodies in here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> in any event, it's a massive trunk, a super safe car. And look at the trim, look at the trim inside the trunk. It looks brand new. It has the, the cover on the original factory spare tires in there in mint condition. Everything's mint and original. It looks brand new back here. The trunk lid paint is mint. It's just beautiful. But I want to, what I wanted to show you is this is the VIN tag right here. And if it has this code right here, WX3, this is a genuine Impala. There's also a build sheet underneath the passenger seat. Um, all proof that whether you do or don't have an Impala SS. This is a genuine Impala SS. This wing spoiler right here is also another feature identifying this as an Impala SS. The camera won't pick it up, but I promise you, uh, or you can try to show them, Kenny. The original build sheet is underneath the seat on this car. This is as authentic and original in stock of an Impala SS as you'll find anywhere on the planet today. This is the real deal, guys. This is a classic investment quality American muscle car. I don't want to sell it, but I have to. This is I'm not selling this because there's anything wrong with it or because it's not a freaking kick-ass car that fits my needs as a grown, grown-ass man who wants a comfortable car that's got power and class. But, uh, well, we need the money for, for the dealership and for the race team. So it's going up for sale, and I'm sad to say that, but our loss is your gain, man. Uh, snap this baby up because they're getting few and far between, and... Uh, you don't know what you're getting with the repainted cars and cars that have been restored. This is an original. The frame is in mint condition. It's a southern car. It's never been in the snow ever. It's a southern car that was only used as a weekend cruiser, evidenced by the mint condition. So on Amy, on her work order, she flushed the entire coolant system, put a new radiator on it, new thermostat, new Dex cool coolant. She also replaced the sway bar link and the rear window guides. Um, I said, whatever it needs, do it, Amy. That was it. Everything else works beautifully. All the lights, electrically, mechanically, and cosmetically, the car's a 10. Um, we've given it a, a full, what we call a rotisserie detail. It was hand washed, cleaned, paint was polished and waxed, and interior was cleaned and detailed. And it's, uh, you know, it's parked in the museum, on display in the New England Motorcycle Museum. Guys, the best part about an Impala SS, besides looking at it and just counting your lucky stars that you happen to be the owner of one of these classics every day when you walk through the garage you can just look at it and no matter how shitty your day is you you still own a pal ss but driving it driving this car it's a driver's car the suspension's taut the brakes are tight um they produced these cars for uh over a decade and the, it has everything the police interceptor package had plus the corvette engine plus better suspension and brakes and tires and it's been lowered, and it freaking handles amazing. Cruises down, it's a highway monster. He cruised down the highway 85, 90 miles an hour all day long. It actually gets really good fuel mileage too. Not that I give two shits about that when it comes to a pleasure car, but it, it, it does get amazing fuel mileage. The gauge package is unique to the Impala. Also, it has the tachometer and the speedometer. Uh, it's got a full tank of fuel. It'll have a full tank of fuel when you pick it up. Shit, at five bucks a gallon, that's something too, right? Uh, runs really nice and cool. Brand new radiator in it. Um, I haven't had a single problem with this car since I got it last year. Not one. Not one freaking problem. It's been getting and go. Uh, it's got a nice stereo. I'd play that for you, but um, you're not allowed to do that in YouTube for uh, due to copyright infringements. But And it's a cop car. Used to be, well... Top car suspension. Give them a run for their money with this thing for sure. It handles really good on back roads too uh, because of the lowered suspension and, and the uh, stiffer springs, lower center of gravity, better shocks. 
everything in the SS is, is notorious for. Once it gets into overdrive, it'll just cruise down the highway effortlessly. Going the speed limit, you feel like you're parked. And there's plenty of room in the car, too. It's got a big back seat, huge trunk. If you got three kids or four kids, you can pile them in here. Plenty of room. Take out the, uh, the in-laws in it to dinner or whatever you want to do. This car's ready to go. It needs nothing. Just get in, fly, fly into Bradley, pick it up, and drive it home. I hope whoever, get, whoever gets it treats it with the respect the uh, previous owner had and that I have. I, I, I mean, it could be a daily driver, but with the value of these things going up, I hope it gets preserved and, and, and uh, used on sunny days only and just the way we, we've used it as a, a pleasure vehicle. If you had a motorcycle collection or some bikes you wanted to trade towards it, we are a motorcycle dealership, so we, we could do that. Um, if you want to uh, just buy it and pay cash uh, or PayPal or however you want to pay, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Junior can arrange shipping anywhere in the world for you. Is that true, Junior? Oh, yeah. Yeah, anywhere in the world. And you have any closing uh, statements you'd like to add before we... No, message is zip code, zip code for shipping quote. Any questions, any uh, specific uh, items you'd like to know that weren't included in the photos or video, you give us a call. Like I mentioned, uh, we got the manual to it. We've got the, uh, the, 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 the code sheet in the trunk. We've got the build sheet underneath the seat, and I've got the clean title in hand. Um, the, the RPO code or the SPID code, the re regular production order options, and everything uh, is all indicated on that tag in the back, the WX3 tag. It has the proper engine, um, matching numbers, original, classic muscle car. The last of a dying breed. Thanks for watching. And God bless America and American muscle cars.